Welcome back to the Math is Simple YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed or hit the bell notifications and smashed a like, please go ahead and do that because we are going to teach you how to graph equations. And we're going to get those equations by converting them into the slope intercept form. Our first equation, we know, notice that it is in standard form. It's a negative 2x minus 3y equals 15. So our idea is to get it into slope intercept form and slope intercept form. Let's go ahead and erase that. Let's try that again. Let's get that y looking good. Um, y equals the slope and the intercept of b. We want to convert this in st from standard form into the y equals mx plus b form. So first, before we could do that, we have to isolate our y and get our y all by itself. And that means that everything else, even the negative three, needs to be moved over to the other side of the equation. And how do we do that? We add the inverse to each of the terms. So the inverse of a negative 2x is a positive 2x. So let's go ahead and add 2x to both sides of the equation. Here we have negative 2x and a positive 2x equals 0. And then now we have our negative 3y equals 2x plus 15. Now the y is not completely, it's down to one term, but it's not completely isolated. And the separated, it's connected to that three by multiplication and the inverse of multiplication is division. So we're gonna divide each term on both sides by a negative three. Here we go. So negative three divided by negative three gives me one y equals and then I have two, a positive 2x. Positive and a negative is a negative, a negative 2 thirds x. And then a positive and a negative 15 divided by a negative 3 is a negative 5. Now we have our equation in the y equals mx plus b form, or what we know as the slope intercept form, where we have our slope right here. And then we have our intercept or our y-intercept right here, right there. So the y-intercept is the number that we start with. So that's our starting point. We start at a negative 5. So I start at my origin and go down to a negative 5. And then I'm going to build from there. So we look at our rise over our run. That is our slope. And we see that we have a negative two thirds. That negative, I'm going to put with the numerator. I could put it with a denominator, but I'm going to go ahead and put it with the numerator. And this is going to tell me that my rise is a negative two. That means I'm going to rise downward. That means I'm going to go in a negative direction. Rising is either up or down, a rise up or down on the y-axis. And so the run is going to the right because it is a positive number. So if we look at our starting point right here, we are going to go down 2. There's our decline of a negative 2. And we are going to move to the right to 3 for our next point on the coordinate. Now we just need two points. That's all we need to graph this line. So we're gonna need two points and we can put them right there. And there we have the line for y equals negative 2 thirds x minus five. Okay, that was cool. Let's go ahead and try one more and let's get rid of this line. We're going to bring this line back, I guarantee you. So let's go ahead and move the standard form off to the side. And let's see what the next equation brings to us. The next equation is x equals 2y minus 8. Now it's not necessarily in the slope intercept form, so we're going to once again isolate our variable y. 
we're going to isolate our variable y and move everything else onto the other side of the equation. So the inverse of a negative 8 is a positive 8. There we go. And negative 8 plus 8 is 0, but I have to put it on the left-hand side as well so we can balance our equation. So when I rewrite it, I have x plus 8 equals 2y. Now, since it's an equal to each other, I can switch all the terms on either side around. So I can switch it around. So 2y equals x plus 8. I have to make sure I keep this as a positive, so I need to make sure this stays a positive. This was a positive, I need, and if it was a negative, I need to make sure I put the negatives in the right area. So right now, we have 2y equals x plus 8. So that 2 is connected to the y by multiplication, and so we are going to divide by 2 under each term. Therefore, this becomes 1, and we have 1y equals x over 2. Wow, that x, there is a coefficient or a number in front of that x, and we say it's a, it's an imaginary 1. It's a 1 there. It's a 1x. We just don't have to write the 1. So that helps us find out what our slope is going to be. It's going to be a positive 1 half x. And then 8 divided by 2 is a positive 4. Man, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to go. We know what our slope is. We know what our y-intercept is. And that y-intercept is the 4. And so we are going to go to the y-axis, go up to 4. And then we see that our slope right here, that rise over run, will equal 1 half. So we're going to rise 1 and over 2 and put our point. We can rise 1 again. Let's go ahead and label this and over 2 and over 2. There's our next point. We can do it again. Rise 1 and over 2. So ladies and gentlemen, right there, we can connect all those points together and we have what the linear function or the line that is labeled y equals 1 half x plus 4. Graphing is a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. And once you know how to convert an equation into the slope-intercept form, you are going to be a pro at graphing because all we need is our rise over run and our y-intercept right here. And we are good to go. Well, talking about go, we have to go right now, And but I hope you check out other videos on our channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I will see you guys later and see you in our next math video. Bye now.